So I saw this video from Jasper Abbey about uh, aesthetics, uh, basically, basically criticizing aesthetic elitism and saying that basically you like what you like and yeah, there's no judging whether some uh, music or band is better than, than others. And in some sense I would agree with that, but I do think there are a certain aesthetic measures you can, you can make in music. Um, yeah, maybe better and worse are terms that are too loaded when it comes to music. But, um, you can definitely talk about music that's more sophisticated than others. Um, you know, I, th I think objectively that, uh, that a band, that a band like Pink Floyd is more sophisticated than a band like Limp Bizkit. It is, it is it's simply more complex music. It's more, there's more to it. There's more uh, richness in it. Um, you know, and, and, and I mean, jazz is probably the, you know, the biggest example of this. And you talk about, you know, where you decide three minutes into a song if you like it or not. Um, you know, as if sort of you either like it or you don't. But the thing about jazz is you really, uh, it, it, it's it's one of the, it's one of those kinds of music where you don't necessarily just jump right into it. You know, you you, you learn about uh, about the music, and you and the more you listen to it, the more you you pick up on on the subtle like uh, different chord changes and the um, yeah, and the and the way you know they're they're sort of playing around this different musical scale and 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 you, and you really to learn to appreciate the complexities within it and so that's why jazz like people who listen to, when you listen to jazz it requires a sophisticated ear to to truly really appreciate it yeah and there's a lot of classical music that's like that as well um and so, and so that's why those tend to be considered more sophisticated than pop music you know than rock and roll and I think on the other end of the scale uh, is actually uh, punk rock. I think, you know, uh, when when punk rock actually first came around in the in the seventies, it was in many ways kind of a um, a reaction against the sort of overly complex uh, what it was seen as kind of uh, indulgent prog rock of of, of the seventies. Yeah, and they wanted to strip down, you know, three chords, bashing away, uh, you know, in this in pure raw, um, you know, pa passion coming through. And yeah, I, I, I personally not a not a big fan of rock, of punk rock, but I can appreciate that that sentiment, and that and that's certainly, uh, you know, since I like, and, and I do like some some bands. You know, I'm, I like the Ramones, and you know, some of, some of the Clashes music is pretty good. It's pretty cool, yeah. I mean that that's that's sort of the um, it w what what that was about was uh, was uh, was kind of it, for, for them. It's almost like being sophisticated and you know and having these complexities was uh, was antithetical to the aesthetic they were going for. They were going for raw power and uh, it, and and that has a certain appeal to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I knew a lot of punk rockers when I was in high school, and and that and that's that was a kind of scene that that really spoke to them. Um, and so, yeah, to to say that classical music is good and punk rock is bad is, I, I wouldn't make that argument. And in fact, there's probably uh, and and so, yeah, there's plenty of both that I like, and both and and plenty of both that I don't like. Um, And so, uh, and so yeah. I mean, ultimately, you know, your your tastes are what they are. But I, I, in a sense, I hate to use the word "are" is it isn't the verb to be, because I think our tastes can grow over time, complexify. And there's there's music that I didn't like before that I've learned to like now. There's music that I used to like, and now I listen to. And I'm like, yeah, like God, what, what the hell was I thinking at the time? You know, there's. Um, I, I think that 
uh, aesthetic tastes can mature. And and it and it, it's not that and it's not that I would you know, necessarily always choose the more complex, sophisticated music. You know, I mean, sometimes I to just you know dance around to happy hardcore. You know, it just uh, I I I can appreciate really cheesy music sometimes, <laughs> but you know I, I but I recognize it for what I and I realize that there are standards for judging aesthetics. So um, I, I I guess uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Peace.